guys, it's Coco Cheddar, and today I'll be showing you how to use and maintain an iHome IBT230. First, here's the list of items that are included. An IBT230 unit, a 100 volt to 240 volt universal AC adapter, and a stereo along with the cable. On the top of this unit, you should see different buttons such as the power button, the mode button, and the presets button. There are also many more. Here are what all of the buttons on the top do. The power button can turn the alarm on and off, but it can also reset the alarm if held for around 5 seconds. The mode button will change the mode of this unit. The modes consist of alarm mode, frequency modulation or FM mode, and audio device mode. The presets button allows you to switch between six different presets on the FM by simply just pressing it. Next we have the sleep or clock adjust button. If the alarm you set goes off and you want to sleep longer, press the button until you see the amount of time you want to sleep in for on the display. This also has many other uses in clock setting now we have the alarm buttons. You can use these buttons to switch between 12 hour time and military time while the display is flashing during clock setting. These buttons have other uses that are also in clock setting. The call slash plus and minus buttons can be used while listening to the FM. You can press these buttons to cycle between different stations on the FM. You can also press these to adjust the time on the clock display. And, if you hold down on the button, you can access the rapid setting. Besides adjusting small time like minutes or hours, you can also adjust the month and the year. Many other things can be adjusted, such as your country, alarm times, and snooze times. These buttons have many other uses and clock setting. The next button is the play slash pause slash pairing button. You can pause and play songs on your Bluetooth connected device. To connect through Bluetooth, go to Settings, then Bluetooth, and click on the name of your unit, just like connecting with any other device through Bluetooth. The next buttons are the volume buttons. These buttons can be used to adjust the alarm volume, FM radio volume, Bluetooth audio, and playing audio, otherwise known as aux in. The last button on the top is the snooze slash dimmer button. Each time this button is pressed, it'll dim the display and will eventually go back to the beginning brightness and start the cycle over again as there are four different levels of brightness for the display. On the bottom of this unit is the backup battery compartment and in my opinion it's a very useful feature. On the back of this unit there is an FM antenna which allows you to listen to the FM radio. There is also a USB charging port for you to charge your unit. Another thing located on the back is the aux in jack. There's also the PC jack for you to plug into. Now on the display. Pretty much all of the display is full of indicators showing you that something is happening. An example of this is if you connect a device through Bluetooth and you see a Bluetooth symbol pop up, then you'll know that your device is connected through Bluetooth. So most of this is very self-explanatory and I'm not going to go over it in detail. Now, on to maintaining your iHome. The first step is to place your unit away from excessive light and heat. If placing your unit on furniture, put a protective material between the unit and the furniture. Make sure to clean your unit with a soft cloth or cleaning agent such as benzene. If you don't have instructions for your iHome IBT230, there will be a link to them in the description. The customer service number is also in the instructions. For help, go to ihome.com support. You should see a web page like this. For the support, type in your model number. In our case, it's IBT230. If you have an account, then add your unit to it to receive notifications about software and firmware updates. From here, 
you should also be able to access the user manual, warranty, and more. If you want an account, then this is the place that you can get it by registering. For parts, go here, and then click the Find Parts button. Once again, it should have you type in your iHome model number. Now you should be good to go and you're able to buy the other parts for the iHome IVT230. If you go farther down, you can see warranty. Here, you also have to type in your model number, IBT230 for us. And now it shows a PDF with the limited one year warranty. If you scroll even farther down, then you'll see more options for support. Thank you guys for watching my video. Remember to smash that like button and be sure to subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.